Hello and welcome to this Inkscape for Teachers video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can draw an icon type person that you often see on street signs or uh, signs such as this one here. Okay, I'll delete this uh, to make room and leave this one here and we'll get started. First of all we need a circle for the head of the person so I'll click this icon here, Control shift to drag a circle and I'll make this one uh, black. I don't need the border, I'll go shift and click this cross here but uh, that's up to you. But I find if you don't have borders then uh, it's a bit easier when you're resizing later on. Okay, back to the select tool here. The rest of the body parts are made using rounded rectangles. R for that on the keyboard or hit this icon here. Let's just draw something that might be the body there and I'm going to round it a bit with this little circle there something like that. Again click black and shift click to remove a border and what I can do back to the select tool select this and control D to duplicate it and I'll drag the duplicate control, control D again and duplicate. Did I duplicate that twice? No. And maybe once more control D and move it along. Now the arms are a lot skinnier, so I'm just going to drag this in here, something like that. But you'll notice the rounding is too extreme, so you can go back to R, hit R on the keyboard, and you can move this up to something like that, perhaps. I'm zooming in and out by holding down control and using the mouse wheel. Okay, back to the select tool. Uh, perhaps the upper leg, again, drag that in a bit, maybe that thickness, maybe a bit shorter and I might leave the rounding as it is but I can hit R and adjust that little circle if I need to. The lower part of the leg drag that into maybe something a bit wider than the arm perhaps. Hit R on the rectangle and move this little circle up to there. And finally the foot I need one more so I'll duplicate this one control D drag it along and make it a lot shorter and a lot thinner. Control mouse wheel to zoom in and hit R and I want to adjust that rounding perhaps something like that, drag it up or down to suit. Okay, now I'm just going to rotate this, move this and if I click it, click it again and you get these rotation handles. You can hold down control to constrained to 30 degree or 15 degree increments if you like and drag that to about there. The arm again click it a second time click a rotation handle hold down control to do 15 degree increments if you like and something like, see it's snapping where I don't want it you can turn off the snapping tools up there perhaps and there we go the uh, upper leg, click it a second time, hold down control to rotate to perhaps about there and try and line up the curves in this area here. Now this might look a bit short so I'm going to hit R and you see this square there, if I hold down control I can drag it out a bit without upsetting too much else in the rectangle. Selection tool, back to this one here, click it a second time, control, drag, perhaps something like that. Line up the, the curves so you don't see too much of a change. And finally the foot, I'll just uh, rotate that 90 degrees using this icon here. Again, line up the curves. That toe looks a bit short, so I'm going to hit R for the rectangle tool and control drag that out there. And there you have it, you have a person icon. Now what's a good idea is to drag a marquee around it all, control G to group it. You could union those shapes, uh, if I ungrouped it and go path, union, but um, you might want to change things later on, so I don't mind just leaving it as a group. So there you have one way to uh, just a person, uh, create a person icon. Just looking at the arm, looks a bit long, so if I 
Uh, it's in the group, but if I want to just get it without ungrouping, I'll control click the arm uh, for the rectangle and then control drag it. You know, something like that. So, hope that helps, but um, you know, it's a way of drawing a simplified, iconified person. Bye for now.